Amy Bruce is a radio host and president of Independent Women's Voice, and she joins us tonight. Oh. I'm not going to quote mansplain any of this to you, Tammy. No, uh, whatever yes. that means. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess what bothers me here is what I just said bothered me, yes. which is the idea that you see all the time on the left that if you disagree, you must be a bad person. That's a Stalinist assumption. It's scary. I can't believe people who believe that live in this country. What is this? Yeah, look, and she her her explanation also changed during the interview. I mean, the fact is. She was saying that Susan Collins was evil because Susan Collins was clearly supporting a, a sexual predator. And if you if you knowingly support a sexual predator, then then you're evil. And then ironically, though, Tucker, she then complains that why can't we just disagree? That's your point. That's exactly your point in the segment. Exactly, Some of us yeah. just simply will have a different point of view in what's going on. And yet what uh, what the left is doing, whether they clothe themselves as feminists or not, is uh, pushing the argument that if you disagree with them, something is inherently wrong with you. It's like Kanye West being declared as mentally ill, uh, that if you disagree with, with her point of view, uh, you're evil or you support things that are horrible for society. This is what they need to move because they can't make, they can't have arguments with us based on the details of the issues. And your uh, exchange with her prove that. Uh, and I hope well, how do we get here, How do we get here, though? So if you're dealing with people who honestly think that they are saved and you are fallen, they are virtuous, you are sinful, there's no possibility of agreement, is there? Well, there isn't. And you notice, of course, that uh, this is, of course, uh, hopefully for modern religion, they've moved away from that. But this is very middle age religion like for the left. This is a middle age framework where people were burned at the stake, where heads were cut off, where if you if you moved a little bit away from uh, the orthodoxy, uh, you were going to be declared uh, a heathen or something else. This is now turning into a religion and there is no room for any kind of, of movement about in any kind of differences uh, or differences of opinion or, or point of view. But we live in a modern age which recognizes faith and the importance of that and the importance of us having our opinions, but in the free world and in a republic and in democracy uh, in, in the 21st century, we, especially in America, we pride ourselves in the fact that we can have disagreements, that we will not punish people for not conforming. And that has been a hallmark of the American liberal sen sensibility yeah. of which all Americans hold on to. And this, of course, this this it's a classic fascist framework. And of course, our universities, speaking of universities, don't teach history anymore, really. And so these are people who are graduating uh, inculcated in a dynamic uh, that has almost destroyed humanity uh, in the last century. I don't know how we wound up here, but it's it's very ominous. If we can't agree that decent people can reach different conclusions, then we're already in a kind of weird theocracy, I think. Yeah, we are. Um, yeah. Anyway, Tammy, thank you very much. Thanks, Tucker.